Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to connect this my bank underscore details application to GitHub. And to do this, you need to open your GitHub account and you need to create one repository. And then we need to connect that repository with this application. So go to your GitHub account and uh, go to the initial page and create a new repository. And uh, here, when we'll create the repository, we will create it with the same name, my bank underscore details. And the description could be my bank details app. We will keep it as public. I mean, I'm keep it, keeping it as public and uh, read me dot empty file we will not add and we are not making any changes in this and we are just clicking on create repository we have given the repository name and the description and we haven't made any changes in the configuration and we are creating this repository the repository is created here are the steps to configure it with the github we will do it one by one but before making any changes in our application first i want to show you that github connection with sap uif application when you are using sap business application studio you can set up the connection using your username and the password you need to have a authentication token so first we will understand how to generate this authentication token let me create a duplicate of it from your initial page if you will click on your profile then you need to go to settings inside settings you need to go below and you need to go to developer settings in developer settings you will find personal access token this personal access token will help you to push the code to pull the code to make any changes let me show you how to generate this token. Click on generate new token and give it a name. So I'm just giving it a name as my bank details token and to the expiration you can set. You can regenerate this token. That's not a problem, but I'm doing it for maximum 90 days. Here you can select what kind of roles would be given to this person who is using this token, who will use this token, what he should be able to do. So for right now, I'm selecting all of them because we don't know what kind of work we require to do. So I'm selecting all of them, but you can, if you are giving it to somebody, this access, you can say like, this person should not be able to delete the repo. It should be able to update the rep repository he should be able to push the code, but he should not be delete the code. So in that case, you will unselect it while giving the access token to the person. But right now we are selecting all. This would be this token would be a Burmastra. We can do any kind of change. Generate token. Click on generate token. The token is created. If you want to save the token, you can save it at some place because every time when you will come, if you will regenerate the token, that might be a time consuming process. And uh, here as a note, you can save my bank details app token. It's not required, but if you don't want to regenerate it again and again, you can set, you can select some good background and you can pin this. So this is our token. Why I'm uh, copying this token is because if I will just refresh the page, this token would be fed away and a configuration would be available. If I click on this, I have to regenerate the token. I don't have the token now. I can see what access are there with this token, but the token is not available. So that's why I saved the token here because when we will push the code to GitHub, we will require this token. So keeping it safe is important. Now we have the token. We have the repository and we have the commands which to use to push right now this repository is empty there is nothing in the code section if i just click there is only the commands it is asking us to 
apply. Now let's move to the application. Let me show you how you can connect this my bank detail application with GitHub. Go to the terminal, open new terminal, go to the project folder, CD my bank underscore details. Inside this, the first command is get in it. Once you do get in it, it initializes the Git repository. Immediately after now the repository is initialized, we will add one file first, which we didn't add it earlier, readme.md. Right? So the command to add this file is git add readme.md. Now I will add all of these files node modules, web app, package, uifi.yml, all of these files. So to add all the projects files, you put git add and dot. It will add all the files. Once the files are added, now you can commit the changes. So you can say git commit and uh, hyphen m is the command get commit and you can say it is my first commit just for identification with which commit it is and if you will see as i put enter all the files are added all the files whatever is there in the project folder now commit is done now we need to create one branch because if you will notice on your github account there is no branch actually there is nothing so we have to create one master branch or main branch. And to do that, we need to write the command get branch hyphen capital M. Remember for commit it's small m and to create a branch it's capital M. And I'm giving the branch name master. Now the branch is created. We can't see it right now on the GitHub account. The branch is created. Once the branch is created, now what we have to do, we have to set the origin because if you want to push the code, there is no connection between this application and this GitHub repo as of now. So we need to create a connection and to that connection we call origin. So the command to create, establish the connection is get remote add origin. And after origin, you provide this URL, this HTTPS URL, HTTPS github.com. So I'm copying it, going there and pasting it after this origin, I'm pasting it. Now I'm hitting enter. Now the connection is established between the application and the GitHub repo. Now we can push the code. So I can say git push hyphen small u where we want to push we want to push to master branch and where is master branch master branch is on the origin so i can write that i want to push my core to origin master, to the master branch and i will hit enter as soon as i hit enter now it is asking me the username and the password so i put my username is is my name and this is my username now if you will notice it is asking enter password or token so i want to say that github password won't work here because the sap business application studio does not support the password authentication that's why we created a token so we will enter the token here and to do that we have copied the token already if you, in case if you will put any password here it won't work the code push will not work so you can try like if i can give any v double e okay whatever my password is i won't tell you my password okay so if i hit enter what will happen the authentication got failed if you will see here support for password authentication was removed on 30 August 13 August 2021 I understood so what I will do I will again hit this command again it will ask me my username check to India now it is asking me password or token so I will go to my keep Google keep 
and I will copy this token. I will close this. I will go to my application and I will paste the token. As you remember, we copied the token. Now I will hit enter and yes, it done. The code is pushed to the GitHub branch, the master branch. Right now, there is nothing, but if you just refresh the application, you will see our application code. All the files are there. Readme file is added, which is providing us the initial information about our application, like our module name, application title, namespace, theme, version. These kind of information is available in readme.md. And by editing this file, you can make the changes if you want to do. If you want to add certain changes, you can do that. And the master branch is created, if you will notice. There is only one branch right now. Later, we will add uh, other branches and I will show you how you can merge the code, how you can pull the code. So right now, our code is here. If somebody wants to access in the next uh, tutorial, I will show you how to utilize GitHub effectively. This was just to push our code to GitHub. Now, whenever we will do any changes, we can push the code to master branch and our code version would be saved here. How to utilize this version control tool, this we would learn in this course. Thank you so much.